This sable looks like green. And the male is darkest of all and a lot bigger as usual for sable antelope. Now the ones that really need the Serengeti and Maasai Mara area to be migrating through are these common wildebeest or white bearded new. And even if they do have two calving seasons a year to keep the numbers up, they still need that migratory pathway to be maintained for their well-being. Of course, typically I won't talk about anything beyond the middle till we get to the other side, but anytime something's running, you can't help notice, obviously. And I think that's part of the ambiance of this place, is that for 60 acres that we call South Africa, they got a lot of room to run, whether it's the springbok or the giraffe or the eland. Now the eland that was moving out pretty speedily right there near the middle, I think is a newcomer. Because when there are newcomers out here, they kind of cruise more than the rest and kind of go, well, how'd I land here? And it looks like a new mom too on top of it, so. What are you doing, girl? Did you forget where you put the baby? <laughs> Nah, they generally stay hundreds of yards away from it, so she's probably trying to call it out to nurse and it doesn't want to. And who knows, maybe she did forget where she put it. Go looking, girls, like when you put the car in the parking lot. Yeah, where'd I put it? Yeah, same thing. And the giraffe are trying to help her, it looks like. Hey, you put it over here. These are Maasai. They're pretty easy to pick out because they have a dark tight knit pattern that ends at the knees and goes solid from there on down. See that? On the adults anyway. I like their look. And if you ever get stared at by a giraffe, you won't win. She'll stare back at you forever. Love the tongue. The tip of it's blue or purplish, if you will. Preventing sunburn is the latest theory until something else changes. And of course, trimming our trees, they'll go to the extent of climbing on the rocks to do it. Not a good idea. Can't put a cast on a giraffe's leg too easily. Don't fall. Got the whole branch, didn't you? Now what are you going to do with it? Do I have to call in the keepers? Because if you injure yourself, then we got to call in the veterinarians. Don't do that. Why do we do that? To prevent them from getting close, but they're quite clever, aren't they? We don't need tree trimmers in town when you got giraffe. The others are going, told you you shouldn't do that. palm trees on our right. Barbary red deer. Didn't think there were any deer in Africa. There they are. Native to the Atlas Mountains between Tunisia and Algeria, but looks like everybody else has gone over the hill as they typically do most of the day. Checking out the scene, the valley ahead of us, the beauty of the sun bouncing off the blooms on the African red coral trees and hoping to find more. We'll head to East Africa shortly.